Let us look at the multiplication of matrices. Here we have two matrices. A is the matrix A. It contains A, B, C, D, and the matrix B contains E, F, G, H. Now, suppose we multiply A and B. All right? What is AB going to be equal to? So, let me make an adjustment here. I want AB. So, A multiplied by B is going to be, now you have A, the matrix A in black, and the matrix B in red. Let's multiply them and see what's going to happen. Now, remember, when you multiply matrices, you multiply rows by columns, all right? Now, let's say this is the answer that we're going to get. And you see that you have two two by two matrices. So it will result in a two by two matrices. We need the answer that's gonna come here, the one that's gonna come here, the one going to come here and the one that's going to come here. All right? So when we get the one that's going to come here, we consider which row, which row and which column it is. Remember, we have row one at the top, row two down the bottom and so on and looking at the columns from left to right is column one column two and so on if you have more than one more than two columns or more than two rows but we are going to look at how we'll get the answer that will come here it will be in row one and column one so since that well, that number or element that's going to be here is in row 1, column 1. It means we must multiply row 1 by column 1. Now, what that means is that what we're going to multiply is row 1 in A times column 1 in B. Row 1 in A is this row and column 1 in B is this column all right so we multiply the first element together plus multiply the second elements together so that's what we're going to do first elements multiplied plus second elements multiplied let me move these out to the way so you can see it row one by column one the first elements mean the first element in row 1 times the first element in column 1. And the seconds would be the second element in row 1 times the second element in column 1. So you can see what we're going to have is A times E. So we have A, E. Then we're going to add plus the second elements. So we have this as the first product when we multiply the first element and the second element is B times G so what we have is B multiplied by G and remember we're using letters but bear in mind that these letters represent numbers and we're going to be looking at some specific numbers later on but anyway that is the element that is in row 1, column 1. Now, how do we get this one? Remember, this is in row 1, column 2. Right, column 2 is here. So we're going to multiply row 1 by column 2. So, let's get rid of some of these things here. So we're going to multiply row 1 now by column 2. 
row 1 in matrix A times column 2 in matrix B. So, in this case, what we have is row 1 in matrix A right, multiplied by the elements in column 2. You see that? Row 1 by column 2. So we multiply the first elements together plus the second elements together. So let's see what happens there. First elements multiplied together is A times F plus and then the second elements multiplied together. It's going to be B times H. You see that? Now, we're ready for this one. What's going to happen here? First of all, you can see that what is going to come here is in row 2, column 1. So we must multiply row 2 by column 1. So, that's what you're going to have to do. Row 2 multiplied by column 1. In this case, we have row 2 here and column 1 here. And we must multiply first elements together. First elements multiplied together plus second elements multiplied together. Alright? Row 2, column 1. First multiplied together is C. Because remember, C is the first element in row 2. E is the first element in column 1. Right? Column 1, column 2 in for matrix B. We have column 1 below this and column 2 below this. For matrix A, remember, it's column 1 below that, column 2 below that. And then for both matrices, it's row 1, row 2 going across, right? So it's row by columns here is in row 2 column 1 so multiply row 2 by column 1 first elements multiplied it will be C times first times first E because C is the first element in column in row 2 and E is the first element in column 1 for B plus and then we say second elements D is a second element in row 2 of A. G is a second element in column 1 of B. So row 2 by column 1 is going to be D multiplied by, let me write that again, is D multiplied by G. So first element. No, first element that was done before multiplied plus second element multiplied dg you see that after this now we look at the number that's going to come here the address of this number is it is in row 2 and at the same time it is in column 2 as well. So it's row 2, column 2. So we're going to multiply in first in the first matrix which is A, row 2 by in B, column 2. Alright? Row by column, row 2, column 2. Now the first elements multiplied be C times F plus the second elements multiplied. First in row 2 is C, first in column 2 is F, so it's C times F plus the second in row 2 is D and the second element in column 2 is H. First, the second element in row 2 of matrix A, this matrix is D. 
and the second element in this matrix in column 2 of this matrix is H so it's be, it will be D times H so what we have happened here now is going to be D from matrix A the first in row 2 no the second what am I going to say we have row 2 column 2 the first multiplied C that C by F remember the first in row 2 is C and the first in column 2 is C right nice so you C multiplied by F plus second in column 2 of this matrix times the second in column 2 of the second matrix first by first which is C times F plus second by second which is D times H so what we have here is D multiplied by H so remember now this is in row 1 column 1 so we must multiply row 1 by column 1 which means row 1 of matrix A times column 1 of matrix B we multiply first elements so you remember it's row 1 column 1 multiply first elements together a e plus second elements together b g you see that then this here is in row one column two so it's must multiply row one by column two that means row one of a by column two of b matrix b row one by column two first elements first element in row one times first in column one i'm um, in column two i mean then first second i mean second in row two by second in column two first by first plus second by second so it's a f plus b h you see that after that what we have is this number right even though there is no number there it's letter but we'll deal with number later on this is in row 2 column 1 so we must multiply row 2 in A by column 1 of B first element in row 2 by first element in column 1 and that gives you CE plus second element in row 2 by second element in column 1 DG DG you see it here and then here what we have is this number in row 2 column 1 so therefore we must multiply row 2 by column 1 row 2 in matrix A times column 2 I should say mistake this number is in row 2 column 2 so therefore we must multiply row 2 of matrix A by column 2 of matrix B how we do that first by first plus second by second first element in row 2 by first element in column 1 and column 2 plus second in row 2 by second in column 2 first by first plus second by second remember first by first plus second by second so it's C times F C F plus D times H D H so you should practice that.
right? I want you to write down these two matrices and without looking at the video, see if you can multiply them out to get this. All right? Now, that's a practice activity that I wanted to do, even though we're not using numbers yet. Now, for the next video, I'm going to ask you to do a little assignment for me until we see the next video. Let me copy everything that is here. Copy and then paste them down here. All right? Copy matrix A and paste it. What I want you to do is multiply B times A this time, right? And then we'll see what you get in the next video. So B multiplied by A. What is B multiplied by A? Going to be equal to. I thought I'm going to want to find out. We had A times B here. So I wanted to do B times A. I'm saying B times A, but I didn't switch them around. Yeah, this is it. B times A. This was A times B, and we got this. I want you to do B times A and let's see what it looks like. So I will see you after you do that in the next video.